Hello guys and welcome back to another Weather Guy video. Today we will be talking about the Southern Soaker. Plus, at the end of the video, we will be talking about the next storm, which could potentially have huge winter impacts, including the Northeast and the Midwest, as well as some areas of the Plains. Here is the satellite and radar. This is the lower level particle map. So now as I scroll along here, you see this area of very dry air. Red is dry, green, that green is where we're really seeing thunderstorm development and very strong storms. So there's a very dry area over Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and parts of Florida. Now as this front moves through, or well, as this system moves east, well, west southwest to east northeast it strengthens and that's where we are right now now eventually all of this is going to come on shore and organize into an a nor'easter type storm but it's way inland here it's just very minor and then it absolutely explodes and that dry air really doesn't move until right about there that's when it's really moving away and then it's gone now. Now the dry air is behind this storm. And this storm is very organized. Well, it's not organized. It's It has strength. Next up, real-time lightning map. So there is lightning with this storm. Um, specifically in areas where the storm actually is, which is over the Gulf. And now it's starting to move into... Florida, Alabama, Georgia, with some light precipitation. Next up, tropical tidbits. We're going to use the 12-kilometer model because it shows the entirety of the storm. So here is right now, you have that showers in Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, but most of it's off the, sh off the coast. And let's actually zoom in, and I'll zoom out in a bit. So as this storm becomes organized, there's the low pressure, 1,016 millibars, very weak. But then it strengthens over the Gulf, and we also get to see some icing that could be happening in North Carolina and Virginia. That is the only wintry side to the storm until later. Then as the storm continues to strengthen, most of the rain is already on shore. At the leading edge, the back edge is still in the Gulf. So very disorganized, not very strong. That's where we're starting off here. Now, this becomes more organized, and this is where I'm going to zoom out. Now, you can see right over here, that is kind of like our nor'easter shape. And that is true, but then the low pressure develops right over here. And that is a bit stronger. Now, we have a leading boundary moving into the northeast, even though the low pressure is in South Carolina. So, a very massive storm. Very large a co and covers a huge amount of area. Now, as that continues to move north, we will also see a lot of rainfall north of it, east of it, and I'm talking about the low pressure when I say it, and some thunderstorms to the south and west. But most of the storm is going to be to the north and east. Then, very strong rain moving onto Long Island, um, areas in New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, even into New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. Very, very heavy stretch of precipitation, as well as areas of heavy precipitation around the low. And now that low is in the 900s, which shows that it is strengthening. Now, you start to see snow on the back end. We talked about freezing rain on the front end. Now, as the, the low pressure is strong enough to wrap around temperatures, well, it's going to wrap around air masses, a polar air front, 
polar air mass is going to move down from Canada and into that back end, and we could see some snow. Also some snow in northern Maine, because the front edge is in that cold air from Canada. So as we move along, still dealing with heavy rain in Jersey and South Carolina on the back end, but on the western edge, we start to see this switch over to snow. And that really comes into full effect here. This is Saturday, late, probably mid-afternoon Saturday. Areas like Pittsburgh, uh, Charleston, West Virginia, maybe even Cleveland, Ohio, could be seeing snow, as well as Buffalo, New York, could be seeing some snow. Then the low pressure moves north, and then we could be seeing areas, possibly Albany getting some snow from this storm as well. And then the storm moves off. Now, let's go to the continental U.S. We have this other system here, which is our next system. That has some snow in the Rockies, also some snow in the Plains, some rain showers, some freezing rain showers. Doesn't seem like much, right? Then we continue to move, and it gets more organized, drawing up more moisture, low pressure develops right there, heavier snow bands, and then that is where the 12 kilometer stops. But let's look when this storm moves out. First up, total accumulated precip. We can see half an inch or more on, over much of the eastern seaboard with areas that get above two inches of precipitation from Georgia to Virginia and from Long Island through Maine. Those are, are your heavier areas. Now, can you see two inches in other spots? Yes, of course. If a heavy rain band sets up over somewhere, you could see different results. But this is showing heavier rain in Georgia to Virginia and Long Island to Maine. Next up. Total positive snow depth change, not much, probably one to three inches where you're going to be seeing that switch over, and most of that snow is going to be accumulating in the mountains, the Appalachians. So not much snow, but still there could be some snow, probably not enough to cause any traffic delays. Um... Actually, so yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing that one to three inch range, possibly areas of four to six, just depending on how heavy the snow is. Now, let's move, oh, man, all right. Now, let's move to weather.us. Now, there is going to be ads on this, um, but this is the only page that I could find where you can get the European model for free. So, now you have this band of snow. You also have an area of rain and then also mixed precip. Now that's going to start moving across the country. We could be seeing snow in Kentucky, Kansas, even areas of northern Texas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and then that all starts to move into the northeast as it strengthens. We could be seeing snow in Washington, which will eventually turn over to mixed precip and then rain. And then, as this continues to move north and east, we could see a snow event in the northeast, which will then switch over to mixed precip along the I-95 corridor. But for some, this will be all snow. A quick shot of snow, but also could have some travel effects. So let's go to our parameters. Snow depth change. And, yep, there we go. Parameters. Snow depth change. There we go. All right. So now... Across the Midwest and the Plains, we shouldn't be seeing much snow.
probably at the most six inches of snow. Mountain snow could obviously be more, um, especially in higher elevations. But primarily across the Ohio River Valley, one to three inches. You could see three to five inches in Missouri, Kansas. So that's very light for that region. And this storm is going to mainly focus on the the northeast. So let's start with... We're going to try and go south to north here. So let's start with Pennsylvania. All right. So D.C. is probably going to get that uh, less than an inch mark. Could see up to an inch. Now, Philadelphia, probably also in that less than an inch mark. You guys are going to be primarily rain. Um, Pittsburgh, also less than, than an inch. But now, as we move to New York, this is where most of the snow is going to, going to occur. New York City, probably less than an inch. Buffalo, on the other hand, could see that 6 to 12 inch range. Albany, also probably, well, let's say Buffalo, 3 inches to right, right around that area you could see. 8 inches, a foot. So, Buffalo is in that area where you can either have four inches of snow or a foot of snow. So it's still a little too early to tell, but we can see from this kind of a, we're, we're in the ballpark, but we're not home plate. That's my reference. <laughs> now, let's go to Massachusetts. And this will show us, like, the, the lower northeast. Then we have Hartford, probably on that line of four inches. Boston could see three to five inches, could see one to three inches. Probably, I, I'd probably say no less than an inch. You're definitely going to be above that inch marker, but it, we could see some difference in how far over an inch. <clears throat> but probably no more than five inches. Now, shorelines of Connecticut and Rhode Island, as well as the Cape, probably not going to see much. <clears throat> as you move north, um, like Providence, uh, Hartford to uh, Waterbury, that area, probably going to see that 3 to 4 inch range. Now, I'm thinking that these cities labeled here, Stanford, Bridgeport, Danbury, New Haven, Norwich, Warwick, Fall River, Bedford, and Plymouth, I definitely think that Yarmouth is probably going to get less than an inch. Those cities that I just named will probably be in that iffy range. Will it be Snow, or will it be mixed precipitation? All these areas probably won't switch over to rain for a long period of time. So this is a very iffy region, and if this all comes to fruition, probably another video later this weekend, early next week, explaining this in a lot more detail. Now we're going to move to Maine. And Maine, just in higher elevations, you're going to see a lot more snow. In areas like Bangor, Augusta, probably going to see one to three inches. Probably could see less than an inch. It's all hit or miss with this storm. And I'll cover it in more detail in the next video. This could possibly get named as a... Winter Storm, so we could be seeing Winter Storm Finley, but I'll explain that in my next video. Now, 
just a quick recap. We have this storm in the Gulf, and it is going to create some very rainy conditions. We could be seeing some ice to start in North Carolina and Virginia, but from there, a soaker in the making. One to two inches of snow, not snow, rain. <laughs> I was just talking about snow. But one to two inches of rain is possible in many spots, but snow on the back end could accumulate to one to three inches. With that, as always, stay safe. Um, if you're in that snow, let the crews do the thing. Um, if you're in the heavy rain and there is flooding, turn around. Don't drown, as the Weather Channel likes to say. Just be careful. Stay safe. And I'll let this run out, and then we're done. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. The circle on the left-hand side of your screen is to subscribe to my channel. On the right-hand side is my most recent upload. Hope you enjoy. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram at YouTube underscore weather underscore guy. Thank you for watching.